Imagine this: you're living in the bustling city of Rome in the year 1582. It's early October. The weather's cooling down, and the city is as lovely as ever. You're preparing for a normal day ahead, checking your calendar for upcoming events. You go to bed on the evening of October 4th, expecting to wake up to October 5th. But the next morning, something strange happens. You look at your calendar, and it says October 5th. What happened to the last ten days? Where did it go, and why was it erased from time? This wasn't some glitch or accident; it was a deliberate change, one that reshaped how people understood time, led to controversy across Europe, and even sparked legends of stolen days. Today, let's explore why the calendar was changed in October 1582, how it led to one of the most divisive reforms in history, and how those lost days still affect us. The origins of the Julian calendar and its flaws story begins over 1,600 years before that fateful October. In 45 BCE, the famed Roman leader Julius Caesar introduced a new calendar system, the Julian calendar. Based on his advisor's understanding of astronomy, Caesar's calendar calculated a year as 365 days plus an extra day every four years, the leap year. The Julian calendar was revolutionary. It replaced Rome's older, more chaotic system and became a standard across the Roman Empire. However, the Julian calendar had one major flaw: it calculated a year as 365, 25 days, while the Earth's actual orbit around the Sun is slightly shorter at around 365, 25 days. Then that difference just 1 minutes and 14 seconds per year seems tiny, but as centuries passed, those minutes accumulated. By the 16th century, the calendar was off by about 2 days. And while this drift might sound trivial, it caused big problems for the Catholic Church. The importance of Easter and the Church's growing concern today doesn't matter so much to the Church. Well, Easter, the most important holiday in Christianity, was based on the spring equinox, a date that was slipping out of alignment due to the Julian calendar's drift. By the time Pope Gregory the Thirteenth took office in the 16th century, Easter was nearly ten days out of sync with its intended season. The Church feared that if no action was taken, Easter would eventually fall in the middle of summer. Pope Gregory the Thirteenth, realizing this issue, Called upon astronomers, mathematicians, and religious scholars to find a solution. He saw the misalignment not just as a problem of timekeeping, but as a theological issue, an error that disrupted centuries of tradition. The church's reputation and authority were at stake, and Gregory was determined to set things right. Reforming the calendar, the birth of the Gregorian calendar. After years of study. The experts devised a solution: a new calendar system. This calendar, named the Gregorian calendar after Pope Gregory XIII, introduced a refined approach to leap years. Instead of a leap year every four years, they added a rule: years divisible by 100 wouldn't be leap years unless they were also divisible by 400. This small adjustment made a huge difference, bringing the calendar almost perfectly in line with Earth's orbit. With the new system designed, Gregory and his team faced the tough decision. How to bring Easter back to its rightful place in the spring? The simplest fix: remove ten days from the calendar, instantly resetting it. So they declared that after October 4th, 1582, the calendar would skip directly to October 5th, and those ten days gone as if they never existed. The immediate impact on daily life for people living in October 1582. The sudden disappearance of ten days was unsettling, only to find that your place now fell on a non-existent date. Yet. This change was hard to grasp. Imagine scheduling important events, contracts, or even a wedding. Did they simply vanish? Some historians believe that people were bewildered and even suspicious. People asked, "What happened to the ten days?" For many, in places like Italy, Spain, and Portugal, which were Catholic strongholds, the calendar shift happened smoothly again. But not everyone was so quick to adopt it. The Protestant resistance and divided Europe, while Catholic countries adopted the Gregorian calendar immediately. Protestant countries were more skeptical. They saw the new calendar as a popish plot and attempt by the Catholic Church to meddle in their lives. England, for instance, refused to adopt it, sticking with the Julian calendar for nearly 170 more years. Scotland, however, adopted it in 1600 for New Year's Day, but kept its Julian dates until 1700. This created a bizarre situation where different countries were living in different years. Travelers and merchants faced the challenge of translating dates when crossing borders. Even Isaac Newton's birth date, for example, is often cited as either December 25,164 or January 4,164, depending on which calendar you follow. Myths, misconceptions, and cultural reactions.
Over the years, many legends grew around the missing days. Then one popular myth was that people riding in England demanding give us our 11 days back. But while it makes a great story, this little historical evidence to back it up, the reality was likely more muted, with people simply adjusting to the new days over time. In some regions, people feel that losing 10 days would affect the harvest. They worried that this lost time might somehow confuse nature leading to poor crops and even bad luck. There were also superstitions some believe that those who died during the missing days had their souls trapped in a sort of limbo. The Gregorian calendar goes global as Europe expanded its reach through colonization and trade. The Gregorian calendar gradually spread around the world. By the early 18th century nearly every country had adopted it, largely due to international diplomacy, economic necessity and scientific advancements. Russia held onto the Julian calendar until 1918, and countries like Greece adopted it even later. In 1923, today the Gregorian calendar is the most widely used system in the world, bridging cultures and creating a shared understanding of time. It's easy to forget that a unified calendar is the result of centuries of debate, resistance and gradual acceptance. Why October 1528 still matters to Zhou? Why does this story matter? The October 1528 reform was more than just a fix for an astronomical problem. It was a step toward a unified interconnected world. The Gregorian calendar set the stage for modern global cooperation, allowing us to synchronize events, trade and communication across nations. From space missions to business deadlines, our lives today are tied to this ancient system. When you check your calendar app, remember that you're part of a tradition that spans millennia, with roots reaching back to ancient Rome and a dramatic shift in Yao Bar. Thanks for joining us on this journey through time. If you enjoyed uncovering the mystery of the missing days, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let us know in the comments if there's another history mystery you'd like us to explore. Remember, history isn't just in the past, it's alive.